Well, good day, tubes. How's she going? I'm getting better here, day by day. Oh, I can actually open the door with my broken hand now. I guess that's a, a goodish thing. So it's been a while since I've been out here working, but uh, added a new piece of equipment. Mm, wait a minute, refine that. Added the worst piece of equipment I've got in my still lineup right now. That sounds a little better. We added a added another piece of equipment. What I'm going to need it f basically for is this big cement pad out here whenever we get that poured. It's going to have to have some cut lines put across it. So, went and got a really, really wore out, really used, doesn't run cut off saw, cut saw, it's a concrete saw. This thing has been through I don't know what. It needs a rebuild. It needs a piston and cylinder put in it. Pretty, <coughs> pretty darn sure. Uh, I'll get you on a tripod here, and then we'll uh, give her some tug in here, and I'll uh, kind of show you what uh, what it's doing. So um, these things should have enough compression that. Uh, hang on a sec. I'm gonna put this on the floor. They should have enough compression that you can hold it up by the cord and not do, do, do. it sh should should hold that back i don't know if this one will i haven't tested that yet yeah well <laughs> oh. that's one test i like to do with these let's see if i can do this here Get up there. I really gotta watch how I use that hand, definitely. <laughs> um, okay, that's gonna make that super interesting to try to get that. Uh, didn't really wanna have to take all that off. I'd like to look inside the exhaust port. And that's of course buried right behind there and there's a third bolt down there, which we should be able to get. This thing's cut, looks like some metal too. Concrete, and it's time. <coughs> well, let me get you on a tripod and we're gonna at least pull the spark plug out here and have a look at things, see uh, how it's looking. First thing you should look to on these, like I used to work on these at the rental, I never rebuilt them, but we did do a lot of rebuilding of them. Um, You can tell a lot by looking in here and seeing how it was maintained. And then we'll look at the gas, dump that out. I think it sounds like there's something in it. Um, it's probably not in good shape. But this guard, man, it has been hammered on. Wow, we. You could take it off and bust out these rivets, I guess. Try to straighten it again. But thrown in the back of the truck, you know, these things have been just abused since out of the box, you know, so I feel real bad for them, but maybe we'll pop off the top cover here as well. We have to get this this off too to get the throttle unhooked, which is part of it. It's down here. Part of your throttle. So, uh, yeah, we used to have a lot of these at the rental. These were kind of our main renters. And then we had a couple that were a little bit bigger. Now still is into like quite a bit bigger models of these things, but this will do a 12 inch blade on it. That's enough for doing some cut lines on the uh, new cement pad here. So let me get you on a tripod and uh, let's stick it looking at it. Oh, it looks like this, this junk there needs a replacement uh, or something. Something's not right with that, that guy, that mount. Oh boy, lots of fun. All right, so mostly all we're gonna need is this guy. Um, should probably dump that fuel out of there. Now, what have I got for a good container here? Um, I'm gonna have to look around for a container. Maybe you wanna need some more screws left in it here, so. Just dump this out. Let's see what we got for what kind of fuel is in this thing. I wonder if someone's ran, like, let's give it a quick pull here too, like you can hear it's... Not sounding too good. <laughs> I imagine it's all scored up. I do have a new 
piston and cylinder coming for it here. Doesn't look like very good gas. Oh boy, people. And this was a awesome Facebook Marketplace grab. So that doesn't look like it's got any kind of oil in it. Yeah, that's definitely just straight gas. Let it dry up and there's really nothing in it. That's great. So hopefully it's not too, too terrible bad because I've got a like I say, a rebuild kit coming, but it doesn't come with uh, new seals. It doesn't come with, uh, what else? New seals or new bearings. It didn't come with that stuff in the kit. So, basically, uh, there's a bearing on the connecting rod. No, on, sorry, on the, um, I'll get it. Hang on. On, oh, I better not light that thing up. There's a bearing on the wrist pin rod. There's a bearing on that. And, uh, I don't think uh, the kit came with that, so that kind of sucks. Fingers will work here. I kind of want to see what this looks like. It's a fairly new plug they put in it. Fairly cleaned plug. Um, I don't know whether I've got good enough light to see down the hole here, but my. Uh, Boss at the rental would uh, pretty much know right away what was wrong with these things. You can't really see. That side didn't look too too bad, but yeah, you never know, right? <laughs> you never know. I don't even think that's the right plug for it, but that's okay. We're probably going to swap this piston and cylinder over anyhow. Now, my spark tester is in the tractor. It would be good to see if we've got some kind of spark, but I think I'll have to do that whenever we get the cover off here. Maybe we'll take the cover off first. Okay, let's check in here. I'm sure it quit running because it scored all the hell and uh, these things have like three, oh, it's actually not too bad, but there's no oil in it. So someone's washed it up, put it back in. <coughs> but didn't, uh, didn't oil it. And they really did well with their filtration system for these. But if you don't keep them clean Running it all in this concrete dust and crap, which is exactly what I'm going to end up doing here when this thing gets running. That's uh, what's going to happen. And uh, you know what? I'm not even going to try to start this thing. I'd like to see if it has spark to begin with. And so much plastic on these things, it's kind of hard to see. But we'll be able to see what's kind of going on in here after we get this cover off of here and. Uh, We'll be able to see. I got another kit coming too that has this filter in it. Oh, it's missing the inside filter. That's not a good thing. 
There's another filter too, and this one's this one's fairly new too, actually. So that's good. Someone maybe was maintaining it, but there's another filter that fits flat, <coughs> flat inside there, and it's missing. So and it fits right in there, and it's like a the last screen, really fine, like materially kind of thing, right? So. Let's get this throttle off of here first. I don't know if I can be able to do this with one hand, but we'll try our best. I forget how these came off now. Okay, so there's a the little... Got a kind of a hook onto it here. Seeing as I can't see it, better not lose that guy. I need a light kind of right in front of the bench here. Okay, so that's got to pull out right about there. I'm gonna need a pair of grabbing duties. Uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand. That's gonna be the Problem. I might be able to use my hand here. Okay, let's set that off. That should just come right off of there. There's one of their bolts holding that down. something. There we go. Think. Yeah. Okay. This kind of slides back that thing. This thing probably comes out too. Lose all that. And the rest of that should stay there. We got this guy unhooked the throttle, so that's good. Okay. Now we can work on this cover. That's a great thing with the still stuff is they're usually all the same. <coughs> they are all the same bolts. Holds everything together, so. That makes it nicer putting it back together because it generally doesn't make a difference of which one goes where. We might be able to actually pull this cylinder off today and just have a look down inside. I don't know if I'll get her back together today and get it running or not, but I'm going to probably say not, but it'd be good to know what else I'm going to need for it. <clears throat> if it's going to need a couple of seals or I got to get this recoil off of here too, I guess, and check the there's a drive belt that drives the actual uh, guy up. You know the wheel. We are gonna have to get a wheel too, of some sort. Uh, I think Home Depot over here would sell stuff like that. Four at twenty millimeter. I think the Arbor is on it, something like that. I would like to see if it's got spark though. That would be kind of nice. All right, there's that big cover off. So you might be able to get that grounded out down there. Because potentially she might need a coil too. Now, that should be on. Oh, we have good spark. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, sorry, I forgot you were zoomed in. Yeah, this thing needs a recoil rope really bad. I think we were saying that. Uh, I got a little piece of hose here, but I don't know if I can get my fingers to work right for this, just to get a little dribble down into that. Let's 
not really working too well. I'm getting a couple of drips down on the top. That might be enough. Let's just slap her in here and see if she'll just kick off on that. Better tighten that down too, I guess. I don't think that's the carb for that, but. Okay, let's just see here. thing down. <laughs> I want to put it over top of that. Got no uh, decompression in this one either. They must have taken it out for some reason. Yeah, that's just not going to work for me, I guess. So, Let this guy come out. I have to figure out how he goes back in. Oh boy. Why can't you see in there? That's That makes it fun. This thing's got to face forwards. All right, I'll fiddle that later. Um, yeah, something's just not feeling great on this. Fired off of that. Didn't sound great, but we'll uh, we'll think we're gonna tear it down. That didn't sound too good. Kind of sounded like you didn't want to do that. <laughs> oh man. Well, I think maybe we'll take this recoil off here now and have a look under the layer. Ran off that little bit of fuel though, but doesn't sound great. I'm kind of wondering if that needs bearings. Which would mean new seals too, you know. And these things, uh, they're not super nice to come apart. To be 100% honest, the whole bottom end is basically like the shell thing here, and you have to kind of get those things all torn apart. So it definitely needs a, a new, uh, ooh, new rope put in that guy too. And belt is not very tight. This is your tightener here. You gotta unloosen these guys and then you can tighten the belt up. Loosen this. And it's on. I think the same side. I think it's, that's the tightener there. Remember, right? I never actually ever tightened these up. I don't think we ever really checked these things. You could tell, you know, if it was sliding and spinning. is it back here sorry my bad I'm too far ahead that's your belt tightener there so that pushes the saw up right and you tighten her down it's quite a bit tighter there it's probably tighter than we need it probably should have a look at the condition of that belt too so maybe we'll just pull this guy right out of here Kind of got to take all this off anyways if we want to get that cylinder put on because uh, oh, smoked. the uh, guard and everything's going to be in the way here anyways. It's a little bit too tight. So I'm kind of getting used to the one-handed crap. Mm. Sort of. At least it was my left hand. And, uh, you know, not my right hand because that's my dominant hand. That would have sucked. Okay, 
Okay, this should drop this whole head off, maybe. <coughs> that would be good, because I'd like to look into the exhaust side, maybe today. I'm not going to probably pop this cylinder off until I get the part in, which actually it should be in today, but should be and is in my hand is a long way apart right now, apparently. So at the rental we had oof, 12 or 15 of these things on hand at all times. Everything ready to go out. Let's take this tension back again. That's just the cover. See the metal, they've been cutting metal, so that's what the hell that is all scraped onto there. And there's that guy. All right, and the belt is, it's actually not terrible bad. I'll probably run that. I'll leave her like that, I think. She needs bearings big time. I don't know if you can see that movement there. I'm gonna have to get some more parts, I guess. That's what that noise is. It needs bearings big time. <coughs> Let's check the other side here. Well, bearings, that kind of sucks. I'm not so sure I can do that one-handed. Let's check the flywheel side here. When I hear that, I'm like, oh, that don't sound so good. Which means the piston and cylinders probably scored all up too. These are really good saws, but man, you still gotta do some maintenance to them, right? A lot of people just drive the crap out of them and Oh, brakes buy a new one. Oh, brakes buy a new one. You know what these things are new? Woo like here, they're like 2200 ish and around there. Brand new for the steel. They don't make this model anymore. I think it's the 410 now is the smallest one you can get. And this side's not as bad. But like there's chunks on the flywheel here from them using it and getting crap blown in there and then we just took a chunk of something off there. Holy jumping, eh? Chunk of something. Something chunk. I don't see any seals leaking though, which is good. Everything seems dry. Now I can't see in behind the clutch here, but that's definitely not a good thing. All right. Let's get that guy out for now. And uh, maybe we'll pull the... Oh, I want to pull this. Out. That's right. I want to see what's in behind door number one here. It should be all the same screw. Oh yeah, they're just kicked right full of crap. I don't want to anyways. I'd be extremely amazed if this piston and cylinder is still good. This one's a little tighter with the guard still here, but. <laughs> Come on. Let me just get it started and then I need a... Actually, I have a set of these coming too. Or it would have better just to have them on the drill. I could just it with the drill, right? 
Well, that's going to be a fun one to try to get out of there, I think. I really don't want to tear the whole side of it off. Yeah, this one's definitely been using for cutting a lot of steel. I wonder if it was a from steel worker guys or something. I beam or beam beam guys, you know they they uh, put up the you know the buildings with the beams. Well, I might not be able to get this one out of here. I don't think there's an easy way. Oh, well, yeah, this might actually come out of here pretty good. We're not quite beat yet. We'll just take this side cover off of here, maybe. We technically don't need to do that to get the piston and cylinder out, though, but we're going to have to do this to get the, the bearings put in it, if I can get a set of bearings for it. If not, we'll have to look somewhere else and uh, keep this one for some parts. This one I got pretty cheap, 150 bucks I think I paid the guy for it because I told him about that holding the recoil test. He's like, oh no, it won't hold that up. I'm like, oh well, you should be able to pick it right up off the ground if it had good compression. He's like, no, it wouldn't do that. I'm like, okay, well, she's junk. So your price is going way down, bud. I think you wanted like 200 for it and I lowballed him. Serial number on it here too. That's good. It's not ground off. <laughs> Take this belt right out of here. It hasn't spun for a bit. It's got a rust spot on it. And this mount here is not in the greatest of shape. Okay, did I miss any? Yes, I did. Really well built sawzall, I must say. Like they're expensive. But You're getting a decent machine here that's going to do a lot of work for you if you look after it. Like anything, right? You don't change oil in your car. Well, sorry, your car's going to be junk. Now we might have to take this handle off here too, and that's something I really didn't want to get into because there's screws I think down here that are completely covered in crap. One like right there. The only thing is, I got this mount here. Maybe I can just take this mount off here, off the handle, and then just slide that chunk out that's kind of broken here, and it might slide that cover off enough. There's another mount on the back here too, and I have to figure out how to get off. There might be a screw under it. I can't remember now. That one's a little different, so we better keep it together with this piece. I basically need to cut, I don't know, a couple of lines this way, a couple of lines that way, and then I won't probably need this thing again, right? So, oh man, I'm getting dirty. That's not good. Well, that's where that mount's supposed to stay, but maybe it'll go back to work for us. This thing back here too. This is another mount. I think we got a screw in it. I can't remember now. <coughs> it might just pull off too. Hmm. Oh yeah, there's a screw in there. That wouldn't have come off. I figured there was. It's like that thing, you know, for. Voiding your warranty, there's probably one up here too. Voids your warranty if you take it out, you know. Holy smokes.
It doesn't really help that these are full of concrete dust too, right? Squeaky. All right, that's got that out of the way now. Awesome. All right, so we're basically getting down to the nitty gritty of the engine. Oh yeah, that's right out of, right out of spec there. That's for sure. You never run it like that. But I'm interested to see what is going on in here. There's a chunk of stuff that was built up in there. Bunch of junk in here. Another piece. Built up piece. There's all built up stuff here too that should probably come out of here. Anyways, let's have a look in the business end here. Oh man, that is just trashed in there. Oh, you guys will just love this. I gotta see if I can get you in there. Have a look. Crap, I had it zoomed in again. I am so sorry. Well, you were at least listening to me. That's why I need a cameraman. But uh, anyways, you probably got some of that. We got all this off and the handle off and then this side cover come off that the uh, belt goes through there sorry about that totally forgot I was still zoomed in I am rusty I guess this uh, this is pretty bad engine here I think we can still fix it but it's gonna need a, a pile of work but uh, let's get you zoomed inside here okay if things will stay there you can see the The not good movement inside there. The piston's not supposed to rotate. <laughs> oh man. Okay, look, I zoomed you out this time. That's great. Okay. I do apologize for that. I guess I just uh, wasn't really paying attention. Uh, but that piston is like rotating like this inside. <laughs> well, we might as well go a little further, I guess, here. At least, at least we got spark. That's a good thing. I'm not sure if this screwdriver thingy I'm using here is gonna fit down there. It should, but to get the cylinder pulled off. Those guys are a little shorter. Gonna need some bearings. Hopefully, it doesn't wreck the inside, which means someone's probably ran it for a while without some oil in it. She might need too many parts, so maybe it's not worth fixing now. I don't know. I always like to, a little bit of a challenge, but not a really good fight, if you know what I mean. Okay, so we got four big bolts here that hold the cylinder on. Might be worth finding one of these that's actually still running rather than fighting with this old junk, but hey, it's, it's fun. I say it would be a lot nicer if I had two hands. But we're making out pretty good. Should be out. Let's give this one a little more. You have to unhook the carb here too. Can't forget that. I'm 
By the looks of that gas, though, it looks like they had straight gas in it. Maybe it was one of those things where it's like, well, that's all the gas we got, so just use it quick. Now, that's never really a tremendously good thing to be doing. <laughs> but, now, should we pop this? I don't know if that's going to give me enough clearance if I just pull the boot off of this guy here. Um, <coughs> I guess we're going to take the... Oh, that's really tiny in there. Mm. Just don't really want to tear the boot off of this thing. Got air. Not a whole lot left there. But... Sure, I gotta take the carburetor off of this. It'd probably be the best thing to do, but. Not a whole lot of air there. Yeah, we might be able to salvage that. Salvage, salvage that off of there. So, we need bearings. <laughs> That's great. The kit didn't come with those, unfortunately, so I'm gonna have to see if I can reorder them and get them from somewhere else. I doubt there'd be any resistance getting this thing off. Other than the boot here. <laughs> Nothing. Oh my god. This thing is so wore out. Oh yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> I need a new a new cloth here. I think it's I think we found out why it won't work too well. I'm surprised it actually fired off of that little bit we put in it. This thing's not looking good. Look at this side. It's actually broken too. Oh yeah, this thing's going to have to all come apart. There's rings broken here. The piston's got broke broke parts on it. Uh, let's get you in here for a closer look. Oh yeah, this thing's just been trashed. The piston skirts broke on it. There's stuff all down there. That's probably what took out the the bearings down there. Uh, it's broken over here too because it's so floppy. Surprised that was still still turning. Wow! Wow! <laughs> oh boy! Well, how's this side looking here? That's, that's actually eight into that cylinder on this intake side. It's definitely screwed. Jeez, eh? The exhaust is actually not, not too bad though, but something didn't, uh, didn't go well there. We'll say something didn't go well. Wow, that's too bad. That's 
hard to feel that movement. Oh yeah, it's it might even have damaged the the bottom casing here because it looks pretty screwy. Let's see uh, if I can get this. Than I'm used to. Well, there's one out, a little clip. Now it's stuck on my. Uh, I just stay there. And we should be able to just push. Right out this side. There's your little wrist pin. It's feeling pretty good, surprising. Oh, and the little bearing just, of course, fell out on the dirt. It feels actually kind of lubed up good there. So that's kind of surprising. They still look round and everything. It still looks good there. So that might be a good part still yet. Because like I say, the new one didn't come with that, right? The bearings though are right in here. And then outside of that is the seals. So. And that feels good on the actual bottom of that crankshaft, or a connecting rod, sorry. But yeah, this one here is, it's so bad it's, it's hitting into the coil. So I don't think it's damaged the flywheel yet, which is surprising. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> Holy smokes. Well, I guess we could see if we can get this separated here now. It's a bad piston, very bad piston. Get out. What are you following there for? Silly guy. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if this is going to be worth fixing or not. 100% <laughs> honest. I don't know. that whole thing. Should, like I say. No, missing one down here yet. Yeah. Got lots of rubber mounts on these things, right? So they're gentler on you. thing is so beat up. I think by the looks of the handle though, usually these are all black. She's had a lot of hours put on it. So didn't I don't think it owes the guys who uh, used and abused it anything. It did well. It did well. Okay, I gotta remember those are for there. This engine minus this here. It 
should be good to come out. Oh, we got an impulse hose for that. Put it in here. There we go. That powers the carburetor. Oh, we got this here too. Oh man. Guess we'll just take that coil right off. Through your kill wire. Well, it needs fixed, it looks like anyways. <laughs> okay then. I think this whole thing maybe should just go in the garbage heap. Alright, there's that part out. And to get into this, oh boy, uh, I've never been that deep into one, but you'd have to get the flywheel off, of course, here. And I think there's, uh, see, I don't have this center gasket either. You're going to definitely need that. Holy smokes, eh? She's not in nice shape. Yeah. And that clutch might not be good either. I'm not going to probably take this apart any more than this today, but I have to kind of walk down inside here and see how much damage is down there. Ooh, she's definitely had some parts and pieces and there's a bits and pieces in the bottom there too that aren't looking so great we'll say yeah she's gonna need a lot more TLC than potentially I might be wanting to put into it oh, it's just that's hitting the, that's hitting the coil it's so far out oh it's, it's so terrible <laughs> oh man now, I'm not going to get power tools and stuff going today to get the flywheel and stuff off, but that I think is a nut on there. Got so much crap on it. I'm pretty sure that's just a nut. Uh, wire brush here somewhere. <coughs> nut on there but I'll see if I can get some bearings I mean the seals look good but I think to get those bearings out you're gonna fry up them seals and wreck them anyway so uh, I'll have to probably see if I can get a pair of seals for it too one side's bigger than the other on this one I know that for sure um, which makes it interesting and yeah, lots of fun. Lots of good fun. Well, it was fun taking it apart, see what's wrong with it anyways. It's definitely needing uh, some bearing work. And we're going to lose that guy. Need some bearing work and a piston for sure. <laughs> Look at this, just smashed. Wow. Broke that side too. <laughs> oh man, probably from lack of oil. <coughs> or just not enough oil mixed in, we'll say too. That, that'll do it too, right? But uh, you've got a little bit of work here. At least they tell you not loosen, go that way. I don't know if my little uh, impact right here will take that off or not. My little, uh, well, I got my bigger one here, I guess. I got a little 3 8 impact here. Let's just see if we can have a look at this clutch. I'll get the air spooled up. Okay, spooled up enough. I don't know if this little guy is going to have enough juice to get this thing off. It might, but we'll try it here. Oh, Jesus. She's off. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. Wasn't on tight enough. Oh. 
Well, it's pretty good looking in there, I gotta say. It's not bad, it's not like it's been leaking. Now this, I'm not sure you need another bigger socket for that guy. Uh, that's a pretty beefy one, I don't know whether... Sizes, that's probably bigger than that. Yep. One of my short sockets then, that was a 17. Let's try an 18. Nope. 19. That might work now, we're a half inch though. So we'll get the little stubby guy out. And I'm going to assume that it's the other way to get this off of here. Hopefully it's long enough. Oh my gosh. No, of course it's not. <laughs> okay, so i got to try to find a 19 longer one. Which it looks like I have. I don't know why I didn't hook this guy. But... I assume it's the same way. I'm going to have to hold that flywheel with this hand. I don't think I'm going to like that too much. Screwed the other side. That's great. How does that happen? Huh. And we sheared the flywheel. What are you doing that? Well, that was interesting. Yeah, we sheared the little wee key in it. Which is actually the flywheel. So that's great. I don't know why that did that, but anyways. We'll have to find a flywheel now, so now that thing's probably junk. Unfortunately, that's the way sometimes that works. Don't ask me how, but... That's interesting. Why would that have done that? I would assume that is the same way. Well, I guess there's no point really trying to get this off now, because... Uh, Good luck trying to find a flywheel for it. Yeah, that's actually molded into that stupid flywheel. Something tells me that things weren't tight here, too. Someone's maybe already been in here and didn't tighten things up, because that shouldn't have done that. It was a pretty good gun, though, but... Wow, what the crap. Why would they do a molded key like that in there? That seems to me kind of foolish. Because now this thing is garbage. <laughs> to be honest with you, all the crap that gets in on these things too, I'm kind of wondering if they even go out of balance. All the garbage that's getting sucked into them, you never know, right? Well, that sucks. I still want to get this thing apart here, but now I've got nothing to hold on to. Quite the taper on that flywheel too. That's pretty neat. I don't think it was that side that was giving us the problem though. It's hard to hold it. Oh yeah, that's pretty bad. Too bad. Too bad. I can't believe I sheared the flywheel key on that. But really, when you look at it, boy, there's not much key into that into that shaft, so I'm amazed it held it all. Should have taken that side off first, I guess. Oh, man. But that shouldn't have loosened like that. That's weird. So that kind of means to me that we were going the wrong way here. 
Uh, I'm just assuming, you know, from the first thing they tell us to go that way, that it was a go this way. This whole thing's probably going to turn now. I'm going to be able to hold it. Look at her go now. Woo! Uh, well, that sucks. Oh well, things happen, I guess. Too bad that happened, though, but let's see here. We need a 13. Yeah, there's probably no... Well, let's see if I can find a... Let's see if I can find a flywheel online, maybe. They might, they might have them. I don't think we're quite beat yet, but I'd like to see if I can get this off of here. Nope, that's not working. Why is that slipping? Never had one of these being on there so tight. It's definitely tightened that guy up. Yeah, so that's unloosening the flywheel. That's interesting. And they don't, of course, tell you on here which way to go. I guess if you're a technician, you would know which way to go. I'm not a technician, though, so I don't know which way to go. Don't really want to jam anything down there. And I mean, you could piece of wood or something but you'd probably break the casing then then you'd be really screwed see this thing here says nut loosen to the left which we're going that way so I would assume this thing would be on on the same as this nut was but apparently it's not so okay I'm 100% sure that's screwed on too, like, <coughs> I don't know how you'd ever get that off if you ever just pressed it on. Well, let's just give her another shot here to see what happens. I have to find a flywheel now anyway. got to be this way because how would you ever get this off? There we go. I knew it would come off. It's just what the crap. So that is tightening to get that off. That actually looks pretty darn good still. I'm pretty amazed with that. There's a little guy that goes in behind. your little seal right in there they actually look good oh man that that bearing doesn't though holy smokes is that ever bad so there is screws believe it or not buried in under all this muck and it kind of looks you know what I'm looking at this now and it looks to me like the base gasket was leaking right here this is all carburetor fuel goop here come all out of this base gasket I think maybe that's what happened to it I'm kinda thinking 
It's been leaking for a bit, I guess, and it just leaked crap. Should be a screw there and one down here, I think. Buried, completely buried in, in crap. Well, it's too bad we damaged the flywheel. I kind of don't really like that kind of a design, but I didn't design it, so... <clears throat> they probably do that, so then... Oh, gotta buy a new flywheel now, because it's junk. Mold it into it, right? <clears throat> Alright, we got a... Quite a bit of muck still in these things. That'd be enough to get it out or not. The base gasket leak. Hmm. Well, that certainly does suck. But like I say, I don't have a gasket for between here. And they're kind of important. Now we're talking flywheel, because I screwed up, and we're talking more gaskets, which I don't have. You might get away with potentially making one. You might. But. I don't know. It's probably not really worth putting a whole pile of money into it. The, the cylinder and piston I actually do have coming. And they're not bad. They weren't too bad a price. But, uh... I don't know now if it's worth really digging into a whole bunch. Okay, we're going to have to try... this guy off of here again a little bit. She might be good for parts still though, you know, other than that. Maybe we just go buy a brandy new one. Oh, I don't know about that, but... This is a tool that, you know, the odd time I'm like, geez, it would have been handy to have one of them. Come on! Fighting with one hand, eh? At least we found out what was going on with this thing. Okay, so that was left turning to get this loose again. Oh, how am I gonna hold that now? way to get that apart now, but it's probably not a hammer. <laughs> probably not a hammer. That is going to be so welded shut too right now. I don't know if there's even a good way to do that. Pretty sure I got all the bolts out. Yeah, to me it looks like that base gasket was leaking straight through there because it's cleaner here and it was leaking down through here and made that mess down there. Well, I guess we don't really need to go any further than that. We butchered that thing up uh, enough. That's too bad about this guy though. That's kind of a stupid design, I think. They should have a key that goes in there that you can replace just the key. Nope. And you know what? There wasn't a whole lot into that. Uh, thing anyways but we should have taken this side off first now that I see that but hey you gotta learn right so I mean yeah this wasn't free it wasn't 
super expensive either, so it was kind of a good learning experience, and we kind of found out what the heck uh, went on in there. But uh, I believe uh, I believe this base gasket maybe blew out here and started a leak, and uh, made the saw run lean probably, and probably wouldn't run great. And they were probably just running the ball sack right off it, right? But uh, from there, the the bearings kind of got dried maybe there, and just probably wear or two over time, you know, like this thing probably took a long time to, to fall apart like that, but uh, she sure did, didn't she? Oh well. It's all good. Good little fun experience. I don't know whether I'll uh, pursue that one any further. I didn't really want to get into doing bearings, to be honest, because you know, your bearings, your seals, you got to take this thing all apart and get this thing completely cleaned out. By the looks of things, it's got some damage down there from the parts getting chunked around. So this bearing in here is probably should be done too. It's got a little bit of movement there, not bad, but yeah. Um, now, so if we think that blew out there, that would be. that way so that would be over here it's really hard to tell on this side but boy that beat up itself Ooh. but anyways uh, I don't know if I'll put this thing back together or put much into it it might be good for keeping for parts but great saws though you know but yeah, this thing's got a million hours on it I think so maybe once my hand gets better and I get more use of that I'll maybe start putting it back together then and uh, Put some parts into it but for now we know what happened to it i guess that's all we can do so anyways there we go thanks again for watching hopefully you enjoyed that uh, little bit of a tear down there didn't kind of think i'd get that far with it today but we didn't do too bad and i have to see if i can get a flywheel for it too that'll be the fun part I'm sure they exist but uh anyways there we go thanks again catch us all later and you guys have a good day